Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be Women Want to Be Seduced. Yep, if you're a man, it means you need to be the one that does the seducing. After all, you're the one with the penis, right? Hopefully. I've got an email here from a guy, and he, I guess he's been applying my stuff for a little bit, and he's starting to have some success. And he says, I don't know if it's me or what, but it seems like most of the women I talk to are waiting for me to seduce them. I haven't even downloaded your Kindle ebook yet, and just your newsletters alone have made a difference in just a few months. I mean, they're laughing at my smart-ass comments, calling me honey, giving me their cell numbers, and he says it's almost scary. And I would say yes, because women want a man who knows what he wants, who goes for what he wants, without any fear of rejection, and even if he gets rejected, he's still confident, he's still charming, and he walks away from the encounter thinking, hey, it's their fucking loss, and they really feel that way. That's the best way to approach it. Because at the end of the day, your job, your role as a man in the relationship is to gently lead women to where you want them to go. They give you their phone numbers. Most women, even if like they ask you for your phone number, they're not going to call you up and ask you out on a date. Some will. Maybe one out of a hundred will. But most of them, what they'll do is they'll simply call you and say, Hey, what are you doing? What are you up to? Or they may say things like, I was thinking about you. Or, hey, what about that thing we were talking about the other night? What they will do is they will put themselves into your orbit to make it easy for you to take advantage of the opportunity they're presenting to you. But they're not going to come right out and ask you out on a date because at the end of the day, they still want you to be a man and to do what you're supposed to do, which is to gently lead. And so when a woman reaches out to you, you simply use that as an opportunity to arrange a date, an opportunity for sex to happen. You want to make dates that you have in the evenings. You don't want to be going to lunches and you don't want to be doing movies and crap of that nature because I mean, think about it. If you're sitting in a movie theater, you basically just paid to sit next to, to a chick for a couple of hours watching a movie and that does nothing to create rapport or to get to know the other person or to each other, to get to know each other. If you're standing, sitting there in a movie theater staring at a, at a movie screen for the next for two three hours or whatever while you're watching a movie so the idea is you want to go someplace fun you ideally for a first date you want to just simply meet a girl out for drinks because at the end of the day you don't know whether you really like this girl enough or if she's even worth it to spend extra time with her so you have a great time when you're having drinks and that can roll into maybe have some appetizers maybe at that particular place or you go to some other place you can maybe go to a couple different places and just have fun based upon how well she shows up. Meaning, because at the end of the day, when you go out on a date with a girl, you don't know if you really like her. You don't know if she's gonna, you're gonna enjoy her personality. You don't know if she's gonna be a great conversationalist. Because some women you'll go out with and they'll be drop dead gorgeous, but they'll be just be fucking boring as hell. They'll be terrible at keeping a conversation going, or they just talk about shit that's so fucking boring and so disinteresting to you, that you're gonna wanna say, hey, you know, I gotta run. It was nice meeting you for your drink. I'll be in touch or I'll talk to you later. <laughs> then you can end the day without having spent more than maybe 15, 20 bucks to have a couple of drinks or two. And then you can just move on to the next girl. But if the date goes well, if you like hanging out with her, maybe you end up going to two or three different places over the course of the evening. And the idea is that eventually the idea is that you get closer and closer to her throughout the course of the evening till eventually you're inside of her. But you correctly assume is that yeah they're waiting for you to do the seducing because at the end of the day you're the one with the penis you have to have a hard erect penis in order to penetrate them you can't do it with a limp dick and so you can't do it when you're limp in purpose but women what they will do is they'll reach out to you and they'll make the more they like you the more they're into you the more they make it easy for you to seduce them and the less they like you the less into you they are the more difficult they're gonna make it for you to get their phone number or to arrange a date or those kinds of things. So if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the contact me tab which is going to be in the left hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the internet and I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers but be patient and I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. 
And you can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, you don't have to have a Kindle device to read it. All you have to do is on my website, underneath the email sign up box, is a box that has a link that will take you to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get to the download page on the right hand side, there's a button that will open up a window where you can download one of their free Kindle e reader apps for your Android smartphone or tablet, for your iPhone, for your iPad, for your Mac, your PC, whatever electronic device you want to read my book on. They've already got a Kindle e reader app that's free to download. It takes a matter of seconds to download and install it. And once you've done that, it only takes a few more seconds to download and install my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. And I will talk to you soon.